What is going on, everybody? It is your boy John from the Game Dude here, welcoming you to another episode of Dang and Roba V3 Killing Harmony. I I keep wanting to call it Trigger Happy Havoc, and I don't know why, because it's literally the first game. But last episode, we had some crazy shenanigans. Um, as I, you know, like you can't even see it because I'm not clicked into the video game. But yeah, um, our girl uh, Mew got choked to death or something. I don't really know. That's what today's episode is: is investigating how the heck me would have died because honestly it's really wild that she did so small bottle what there's something on the seat it's a small bottle it feels as though as i've seen this before oh? <gasps> this is yours right shuichi oh my god huh? mine um... oh no i guess it's not yours uh, but it's from your lab uh, oh my oh. god <gasps> that's right this is the ultimate detective's lab. Right? Yeah. It's all that poison. Uh, oh my hmm. gosh. So you know about this, Kokichi? <laughs> of course, because I already checked it. We're in a killing game, you know? If there's a poison and tricks prepared, then of course I'd have to investigate them ASAP. That's... Is that... Um... Oh, it's not so I can use them or anything. I can just check in case someone else uses them. Uh, is that really true? By the way. By the way, did you see the label in that back of the bottle? Huh? The label. Um... According to the warning here, this poison is pretty lethal. Ooh, is this the same poison that Nagito used? I feel like this might be the same poison Nagito used. It becomes neutralized once it has been... Or it becomes neutralized once it's mixed so it has to be taken directly uh but when it's taken directly uh, the victim will immediately die even if it's only a single sip uh, which means if you could get the victim's mouth open you could kill them instantly i can't imagine a better method of killing someone who's logged on by the way by the way i should tell you what the symptoms of this poison causes it causes a small blood vessel under the conjunctiva to explode uh, which makes the whites of your eyes turn blood red bloodshot eyes that's important information um, well uh, that's everything about this poison <laughs> <laughs> am i doing a great job maybe it's time to acknowledge me as your partner instead no i thought i remembered you saying that you didn't want to be my partner mm -hmm. Did I? Well, sometimes I lie without thinking about it. Uh, seriously? Anyway. Anyway, uh, who brought this poison? Uh, do you think the culprit did it? Who brought the poison? I can't be certain of that yet. But I do know that the poison was left on that person's chair. Kokiji's chair. Small bottle of poison has been added to the truth bullet section of the monopod. The visor. This is a device that we wore our heads to, on our heads to the virtual world. Some of the helmets here have their cords plugged in, others have them removed. I am positive that they were unplugged after logging out. Ah, that's it, the cords. We were supposed to plug the two cords from the computer into our helmets. The red was consciousness, the blue was from memory. If you got those mixed up... Out of curiosity, what would happen if you switched the cords? I don't know! I've never done that before! But it probably gets all glitchy or something! Maybe you'll become a vegetable! <laughs> Maybe you'll body swap with someone! Who knows? Uh, hmm. A glitch. Device instructions have been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Bottle. Visors. Oh, was that? Okay, that's just the visor. The computer itself. From what? Uh, from what the time of death indicated from the Monokuma file, Mew was killed while we were still in the virtual world. Oh, that's it? What do you have to say, Kikichi? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be wary of me. I'm keeping an eye out in case Kaido tries to bother it's you. True. Don't take this the wrong way, though. I'm not trying to replace Kaido as your partner, okay? But I'll help you as much as I can. So, we're gonna, where are you gonna go investigate now? What is he trying to do? Why is he trying to insist on following me around? Well, Mew's body's next, obviously. 
Mew's hands were clasped around her neck as if she was gra uh, gasping for air. Her eyes wide open in panic. She must have suffered quite a bit. Wow. Ew, uh, that is one grody face. Oh, Mew must have suffered a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a vulgar death fits the vulgar bitch. Hey. Stop, Kokichi. Even if you're joking, that goes too far. It's nothing. You're right. You should never speak ill of the dead, no matter how much you hated them. Right. Even if she was despised, or despised, pathetic, dirty, cum toilet of a person. I suppose I'll never get Kokichi to change. But... Psh, but... If, what's Mew's cause of death? Uh, it doesn't even say in the Monokuma file. Oh. Um, may I? I wanted to let you know, just in case it turns out to be a clue. By the way... Um... I was the first one to log out and found Mew's body. Uh, she was still wearing the helmet, and her body was contorting in awful positions. Maki logged out after I did, and she helped me take Mew's helmet off. <laughs> and then, she was gone. Hey, hey. Is that a confession? Hey. Oh, how is that a confession? Anyway, the question is the cause of death. What caused her to suffer like this? Mew's corpse has been out of the truth bullet section of the monopod. Can we not get closer to Mew's corpse? Can't. So I guess we should talk to Maki then. Maki was working on the computer. Her hand was moving around, or moving the mouse around quite rapidly. Um, you know how to work a computer, Maki? No. No. Not really. I've never really used this program before either. Hmm. I see. I imagine that it would be difficult to understand unless you were an expert. Well. But I did find a text file regarding this program. It has info about the program's basic features. But other than that, there's not much. Oh, oh so what does it say? Uh, ah. If you don't want to tell me, at least tell it to Suichi. <sighs> According to the text file, the Killing Game Simulator uses a certain program as its base. It was called the Neo World Program. Hmm. Neo World Program? Hmm, I've never heard of that. Well, it's a killing game simulator. Objects can't break. Your body's five senses are connected to your avatar, and your avatar cannot be harmed. But any damage inflicted to your avatar will be transferred to the body in the real world. That matches what you told us. That's true. If your avatar receives fatal damage, then your real body will die. Uh, oh, whoa. If your avatar receives fatal damage, then your real body will also die from the shock. Whoa. Okay, wait. Because the neurotransmitters. That's why you could feel pain. My my big thing here is Kokichi's the only one that would know that information. Like, right? And like, and out of that group, it's only like the group that was in the chapel was Maki, Samugi. No, Samugi came with us. Maki, Mew, Kibo. Maki, Mew, Kibo, Himiko. And there was one more, and I can't remember. Oh, that's gonna... That's gonna kick me. Huh? From shock? Oh. oh, this is your first time we're hearing about this. If someone receives a fatal injury in the virtual world, then they would die in the real world, too? Well, if your five senses are connected, it would make sense if you felt the same amount of pain. Right? So it wouldn't be too surprising if you died from the fatal injury. Oh, man. But the more important question is, why did Mew keep such an important detail a secret? Uh, that is strange. I have no idea why she wouldn't mention such an important detail. Did she hide that for, uh, from us on purpose? No. That's all it says about the virtual world's basic features. The rest of the virtual world is the same as the real world, including the laws of physics. Warps and special transportation like mouse, or mounts do not exist. I see. Oh, so you can only move around using your avatar? No. 
Oh, oh, she should have added warps and mounts to the virtual world. Oh, that's all it says in the text file. Thank you. Thank you, Maki. This is very helpful. Killing Game Simulator has been added to the truth bullet section of the monopod. Oh, but if the info in the text file is correct, what, what do you mean? Nuh -uh. I'm not doubting you or anything, Maki, but I'm just saying that the file could have been rewritten. Uh, is it possible someone rewrote the original info with false info, you know? But to determine that, you would need the extensive knowledge of computers. It's my time to shine. This looks like a job for me. Oh, huh? Monotaro, what? Stop it. Don't get in our way. I won't get in the way. In fact, I want to help you with the investigation. Hey. Help with the investigation? Monotaro, what are you even saying? Hey. Come on, please. Won't you let me help with the investigation? Ever since I forgot about I ever since I forgot I'm bad with computers, I'm good with computers now. What are you talking about? That logic doesn't even make sense. No way! You 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 can't, Monotaro! We're not allowed to help the participants as mascots, we gotta stick to that rule! I don't care! I don't give a fart about the rules. I wanna help everyone! I want to avenge my dead mommy. Huh? Your mommy. You mean Mew. Not that. No, Monotaro. Have you forgotten again? Have you forgotten she's not our mother? I want Have you forgotten the most important person that you need to protect? <laughs> Shut up, you pig. I'm busy avenging mommy's death. <laughs> How sad, but it looks like this is a goodbye. I love you, but there's someone I need to protect. Goodbye. What? So long. Farewell. Um. Alrighty then. Let's do this. Huh? Do what? So what? I don't care either way. If you want to help, then that's fine. Hmm. True. I suppose, but. Thanks. Thanks. I'll do my best for mommy's sake. No. Wait. Perhaps we should. <laughs> He's doing our best for his dead mommy. I'm so touched. All right, okay. fine. I'll leave it to you then. I suppose that we have no choice. All right. All right. I'll start analyzing the computer right away. Yeah! What in the world? This stinky little computer is no match for my hands. Yeah. His hands are going at such an intense speed that the friction is creating fire. I have already analyzed a few things. Huh? Already? Okay. The text file is consistent with the original program. It does not look like it was altered in whatsoever. Yay! Also, I found this too. Is this? This looks like the information of everyone logged in and out. Or okay. whenever it logged in and out. There's no sign that this was altered either. Definitely accurate information. Hey. Could you show it to me? It really does have everyone's login and log out. Five, so Kaido logged out a whole hour and a half before everyone else. Which, he said he was accidentally logged out. So he, the thing is, is like, I kind of want to not necessarily. I want to confirm that that's even a possibility. Um, obviously, I don't think they're going to because I think that that's for uh, the trial to un 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 to be undisclosed. But Kaido logs out at 5.17. Kibo and Maki trying to get the thing off immediately makes sense. Uh, but Himiko also logged out during that time, which is something that's to note. Um, Ganta... Samugi and Shuichi all logged out pretty much. So everybody logged out around the same time, other than Kaido getting logged out a whole hour before. Which is like I said, that's the that's the that's the kicker right now. Is is Kaido the one doing things? Or what's going on? Well Aside from Mew, everyone logged out in in and out at once. You're right. Then it would appear no one secretly logged out and then logged back in. Then my main concern becomes Kaido. He logged out ahead of us. Exactly. Like, what did, like, is it, can he do it on accident? No. It couldn't be him. Log in and log out record has been added to the truth bullet section of the monopod. Um, also, there's something else I noticed while analyzing the program. So. 
It looks like some parts of the program were rewritten. Huh? The programs were rewritten? Oh. Obviously, um, he was the only one capable of doing that. Hey, hey. So, which files did she rewrite and what she changed? Okay. Uh, I'll analyze that. Of course, it's gonna be, or it's gonna take a little time. Yeah. Well, as long as it's done by the class trial, then sweet, you will be able to avenge Mew. He's just saying whatever he pleases. All right. All right, then. I'll analyze the crap out of this program. <laughs> <laughs> You're so reliable. Uh, <laughs> way more than you. I'm assuming Kimiko's going to have something to say with the log in, log out thing. <laughs> I never thought you would be killed. When I saw her avatar there not moving, I thought maybe, but... You're right. That's right. You saw Mew's avatar in the virtual world, and it had it stopped moving. Mm. Me, Kibo, and Maki all found her avatar. Hey. Can you tell me more about the details? You, Kibo, and Maki, which leave... You, Kibo, Maki. But that's everybody that went there, right? You, Kibo, Maki, Mew, and then... I can we have everybody in the same room, and I'm like, do we have everyone? Like, literally, I could double check to make sure my brain's actually functioning, but, you know, that would be too easy, apparently. Can you tell me more of the details? Any details? Uh, we were looking for the secret of the outside world at the chapel. Hey. Uh, Mew was too, right? No. No, Mew volunteered to look around the outside of the chapel, so she wasn't even with us. Ooh, that's important. Mew volunteered to look around the outside. We searched, but we couldn't find anything, and then we were, uh, or when we were starting to get tired, all of a sudden we heard a really loud sound outside. That must have been the sound I heard as well. Something must have hit the wall of the chapel really hard. We felt it all the way from the inside. Something hit the chapel wall. We all rushed outside to check uh, out of the ta uh, We all rushed outside to check the side of the chapel, but we found Mew's avatar. Uh, um, That's when you went to log out to check Mew's real body, correct? But. But when we went to the river, the bridge was gone for some reason. Oh, and while we were standing around wondering what to do, you guys showed up. Thank you. I see. Thank you. Oh, that testimony sounded really important, especially about how they couldn't cross the river. Because? Because if they weren't able to cross, then no one could have gotten to the man or between the mansion and the chapel. <laughs> then that helps narrow down the people who could have been in contact with Mew. Uh, who could have been in contact with Mew at the chapel. Events at the chapel has been added to the truth bolt section of our monopod. Kibo. Um, I've been wondering, what was the secret to the outside world, and what were we searching for anyway? That's true. We got sidetracked by Mew's murder case. We never discovered what the secret actually was. Mm. We couldn't find anything at the chapel, and you found nothing at the mansion, right? Uh, okay. No, Samugi and I did not find anything. My bad. I didn't find anything either. Uh, that's probably the same with Kaido and Ganta too, right? Right. And knowing them, if they found something, they wouldn't have. We, they would have told us right away. Yeah, uh, yeah they would have, unlike you. Whoa! Wow, Shuichi, did you hear that? That robot is being sassy with me. Uh, so mean. Do you know robots don't need warm blood to function, so they can be cold like this. Uh, that's why we're, he's more concerned about the secret of the outside world than poor Mew. Uh, he told us he couldn't even cry if he wanted to. Uh, he went so far to stage his dramatic reaction. That's uh, wrong. That's not true. I'm hoping I can discover the truth, too. Oh, oh you're a pretty advanced robot. You can be sassy and make excuses. <laughs> Damn. Okay, Kaido. I need your t testimony right. right now. Shuichi, I gotta explain so you don't misunderstand. Uh, um, explain what? Ah. Oh, you're talking about how you logged out by yourself, right? Okay, let's hear it then. What? Why are you? Yeah. Feel free to lie. Of course, exploding lies is the real pleasure of this game after all. Don't screw around. What? Hey. Kaido, ignore him and just talk to me, okay? I mean... About the whole logging out thing. I don't really get it myself. 
when I was looking at the secret of the outside world, or looking for the secret of the outside world, on the rooftop, a circle lit up under me, and I was suddenly sucked in. Before I knew it, I was logged out. The same thing happened when I used the phone to log out. How did it happen on the roof? Uh, um... And what happened after you logged out? So... Everyone else was still logged in, but I didn't know if it was okay for me to log back in. So I went back to my room, slept, and since it's dawn, or since it was dawn, and I was pretty tired. Um... And the body discovery announcement woke you. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I heard it and rushed back over here. Hey. Do you remember what condition Mew's body was when you logged out? My bad. Nah, I didn't even pay attention to that, so I don't know. Uh... <laughs> you didn't notice anything wrong, like whether she was dead or not? Shut up! Like I said, I don't know. Uh... Okay, sorry. So I just need to object to the contradiction of the testimony, right? Don't screw around. I said I'm not lying. Tell him, Shuichi. Shuichi. No, Shuichi. In order to find the truth, you cannot be biased. Kaido's account has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. So Gonta's the other- or no, Sumugi too, I guess, as well. Hey. Gonta, are you alright? You're so dumb. Aw, are you still depressed about Mew? Come on! Don't be such a Debbie Downer. By the way. Oh Gonta, I wanna know what you think of Rare I know, but who do you think the culprit is? Gonta don't know. Murder already happened when Gonta wake up. This but why happen? Why Mew killed? Gonta not understand. Gonta not understand anything. But be? Gonta frustrated and sad, and Gonta cannot protect Mew. Uh, he seems all over the place right now. Oh man, uh, he can't think at all when he's like this. Uh, it's true. But Gonta doesn't seem to be lying at all, so I'm pretty sure he's telling the truth. Uh, well, I guess you big dumb dung like Gata doesn't have the brains to lie lie in the first place, huh? Hey! Don't talk about him like that. I'm disappointed. I'm so disappointed in you, Gata. When I first met you, I thought you'd be more useful. Sorry! Gonta, idiot! Gonta, so sorry. Gonta, sorry he no could protect you, uh, Gata. Hey! If you feel that bad about it, then stop blaming yourself and help us find the culprit already! Uh, this is the culprit's fault anyway, so pull yourself together and help us, okay? Mm. Okay. Gonta understands. Gonta do his best. To find his culprit. Gonta definitely do his best this time. Yeah. Yep, yeah, now that's the spirit. Now Kokichi is encouraging him. I really don't know what Kokichi is thinking. Uh, Samugi is the only person I haven't talked to. Like I thought. It ended up like this after all. I had a bad feeling ever since I thought I saw Mew in the dining room window. Mm -hmm. You thought you saw Mew? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I told Chuichi about that. There's a small window in the dining hall, maybe 10 minutes ago. I looked through it, and I thought I saw Mew. Oh, so you saw Mew then? I thought I must have been mistaken, but since she could have been by the chapel... <laughs> you're only saying you were mistaken so you don't have to feel as guilty. What? Uh, what? Because? Because if, if, if you had been positive it was Mew, then you could have done it something sooner. You could have prevented her death, you know? <laughs> that, that, that. Hey. That's just a speculation, Kokichi. You cannot judge in hindsight. My bad. Oh, we went a little off topic. Anyway, I wanted to ask you something. What did you do after you thought you saw Mew? Um, I thought I'd have been mistaken, so it really bothered me so. About ten minutes later, I told Shuichi while we were talking about it. Ah. What, what was that sound? It sounded like something was struck very hard. It came from outside, but but but. Um. We heard a loud noise and rushed out to the entrance hall. For now, let's go check out. Or right, let's go outside and check. Oh no! What? That was Kibo's voice, right? I think we heard him outside. He said, but he sounded close. Huh? 
Kimoy's voice, huh? Wasn't he at the chapel? Uh, okay. He was, but Sumugi and I are positive that it was his voice. And that makes sense. Here's the thing, right? We're going to try and argue that that was not Kibo's voice, but Kibo's voice must have happened past the loading zone. That's my thought process here. Because then you would have been able to hear Kibo's voice on that side of the map. Because the loading zone wasn't necessarily at the bridge. And that's going to be the misconception here. The bridge is not the loading zone. It's actually like uh, maybe 10 feet further from that bridge. So that's I, I know that that's going to be argued at some point in this case. And we got to make sure we remember that fact. I cannot forget that fact. That is going to be super important for me to remember at some point here. We heard Kibo's voice from the entrance hall when he should have been at the chapel. What? That's weird. Because you shouldn't be able to hear anything between the chapel and the mansion. Even Mew said that. <laughs> yeah, you can't hear anything at all while you're still inside the map loading point. I see. You're right. That sound shouldn't reach through the map loading point. So how did we hear Kibo's voice? How were we able to hear Kibo at the mansion if he was at the chapel? Maybe someone's lying. What? Lying. Hey. By the way, Kokichi, did you hear the loud noise or Kibo's voice at all? Ah. Oh, I'm not sure. I was too busy. I must have not noticed because I was too busy searching. <sighs> You're lying to his face. Kaido. Kaido, you keep interrupting me when I talk. Do you like me or do you like me or something? Don't screw around. Who would like you, you dumbass? I was interested in Chuichi's conversation. Huh? My conversation? Ah. You heard Kibo's voice when it was when it should have been impossible. Can you tell me more about that? Um, when well, what I said before was pretty much everything. After that, we headed back to the chapel to see what happened. Uh, um. We saw Ganta as we left the mansion, and the three of us went over the river together. That's when we met up with Kokichi. Yeah. And then we used a signboard that I found as a bridge. What about it, though? Did you notice anything? I suppose not. But... I see. You're working hard, but you really are starting to take this game... Or, it looks like you're really starting to take this game seriously, Kaido. Shut up! Samugi's account has been added to the monopad. Loud noise has been added to the monopad. I suppose I've investigated everything that I can here. Hey! Are you done investigating the crime scene? Do you know who the culprit is yet? No. No. This might not actually be the crime scene. Yes, injuries in the virtual world could be fatal, fatal in the real world. Meaning there is a possibility that she was killed within the virtual world. Which means the next area we should investigate should oh, be... I see. The virtual world? We should go there again? Huh? What? See? I read your mind, didn't I? I did, right, right, right? Got it. If that's the case, then I'm coming too. Oh, oh great. He's coming. He must really like me, huh? <sighs> Whatever you want. I don't have time to waste on you. Yeah. If you go back to the virtual if we go back to the virtual world, we might as well or we might find new clues. And with those I might be able to clear my name. Um May I join you as well? I also think we should investigate the virtual world again. All right. Why do we? Why don't we all go? Ah. Oh, so I get to be an avatar again. What? Did you actually like the avatar life at all? Girl, mm. I'm going to stay here. He's in the middle of analyzing the program. Mm. Got to s search this place uh, some more. There's no time to be sleeping. Uh. That's not what we're. Well, that's fine. <laughs> then I'll stay here too. Uh, huh? What? Mm -hmm. Surprised? Are you gonna get lonely without your partner? My bad. But I'm busy too, you know. I have to watch Maki in case she tries to do some deceitful actions. Huh? Deceitful. See? Well, you and Kaido are pretty close, so it might do something, or you might do something deceitful to him, right? Thank goodness. Good thing Gaunt is here with me. Your glare is too scary to handle alone. Kanta would risk his life to protect me from a murderer. Huh? What? Hey. hey, if you keep saying messed up crap like that, I'm going to kick your ass into the orbit. All right already. It's fine. Just ignore him and hurry to the virtual world. Uh, okay. Kaido, let us focus on solving this case for now. <laughs> fine. Thanks. 
Goodness. Thank God. I don't like violence. The ultimate supreme leader would rather sneak around. So that means. So anyway, I'll leave this virtual world to you, Shuichi. Yeah. But I'm not exaggerating when I say this trial could be only solved by you, okay? Your talent can save the useless people here, you know. What? Who are you calling useless? I told you. Enough already. Um. Kaido, let's go. Exactly, Kaido. Kaido, Kibo, Himiko, Tsumugi, and I are prepared to enter the virtual world. We picked, our, picked up our helmets once again, sitting in the same seats as before. Uh, so the red cord goes in the right side and the blue cord in the left, yeah? Yeah, let's do that. The right is the hand I hold my chopsticks with. I gotta be sure to get it right. If you're that worried, why don't you use one that's already set up? We place the devices on our head and flip the switch. This is what I'm really interested with. This is my big interest. Great, huh? Oh, it's my avatar. Look, my avatar. Um, so you liked it after all. You know. So we're back here. 100%. Apparently, we always arrive in this room when we log in. Mm. You said that logging in and out isn't possible unless we're in this room. Huh? Then how did I get logged out while I was on the rooftop? Okay. Yes, we do investigate that area what too. What should we do? First, we're going to check on Mew's avatar, right? That's right. I think her avatar is still near the chapel. Yay! Then let's head out to the chapel. Uh, I should check the map before heading to the chapel. This is going to be added to the... Oh, wait, what? I'll check the map of the mansion first. The first floor has a salon, dining room, kitchen, and bathroom. The second has the roof. If we split up, we could uh, we split up when looking at the secret of the outside world. Kokichi had the salon, Samuki had the dining room, Kaido had the roof, Gato had the outside. Map of the mansion has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Second map. This is the map of the entire virtual world. The world is surrounded by walls in all four directions. There's a loading point in the middle of the map that's split in two. No sight or sound can pass through the map. It's loading point. To get from the mansion to the chapel, you have to go through the or have to go through this point. You also, or you can, you also have a to cross a river that runs parallel to it. That's how the world is designed. It, it's strange, but I feel like as though there's something or some sort of a secret to this. Map of the world has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. This map was made by Mew. Is that what's bothering me? Hey, Suichi. I understand looking at maps makes you feel calm, doesn't it? Huh? Huh? Hmm. You're the type of kid who stares at a map alone instead of playing recess, aren't you? No. Ah, I never did anything like that. Shuichi. Don't forget we're here for you, bro. Indeed. You're not alone anymore. That's fine. You don't need to withdraw or you don't oh, you don't need to withdraw into a shell, you know. Mm. I'm proud of you. You made friends with real people and not maps. That's wrong. I'm investigating. I'm just investigating. Uh, that's okay, Shuichi. You have real friends now, not just maps. <gasps> oh, oh, Shuichi, could you come here with me? What happened? What, what happened? Mm. I found something strange. I don't know if it's relevant to the case, but I wanted to hear your opinion regardless. Right this way. Hmm. This is toilet paper, right? Why would it be in a place like this? That's right. It's cold here. Huh? Huh? Which means... My initial thought was that someone may have come here to defecate. No. Ah, uh, no. Um, I don't think that's it. I don't think avatars have bowel movements. I, I don't have to go at all. Huh? I didn't realize that. It never occurred to me, as I do not need to expel solid waste in the real world anyway. I'm sorry. Ah. Oh. Wait... But still, this is strange. Why would toilet paper be in a place like this? Could it be related to the case? 
Toilet paper has been added to the truth bullet section of the monopod. Hey, so Hey, isn't that signboard that Mew threw in, isn't that the signboard Mew threw into the river? Whoops, my hand slipped. You know, it's not some other sideboard, right? She said there's only one of them? No. It's definitely the same. I brought it back once, uh, I brought back the one that was stuck in the rocks in the river. Ah. Oh, so that's what happened. But there's still something that bothers me. The rocks that the signboard got caught on weren't on the chapel side of the map. They were on the mansion side. What bothers you about that? It was just washed from the chapel to the mansion, right? From the chapel to the mansion. That's odd. The flow of the river. Shuichi. Hey, think later, bro. Let's get moving. All right. For now, we need to investigate the scene. Signboard uses a bridge has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. I want to actually see his point real quick. Hold on. Yeah. Wait a minute. Sorry, I needed to see Shuichi's point. Yeah, it's flowing down in that way. So how in the world did it end up here? That was not of natural causes. Somebody placed it there. I want to... I wish I could investigate and see if there's blood on the back. Somebody used it to incapacitate me or something. Oh. We don't know when the class trial is going to start. We need to investigate the scene. As I thought, the scene of the crime had not been altered since I found her. So, so there's no possibility that someone tried to tamper with the crime scene afterwards. <sighs> yeah, that's for sure. It's just like how we left it. I'm pretty confident in my memory. I memorized the magic spell that would take your whole year to chant. If you think I'm lying, I could start to chant it right now, you know. No, thank you. I do not think I can wait a whole year. A logged out avatar disappears, but if the real body dies, the avatar remains unchanged. Actually, Look at all the stuff scattered around. What happened here? Geez. That's what we're going to start investigating right now. Isn't that right, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Right. This is a hammer. Why would there be a hammer in this world? I rewrote the program to delete all the dangerous objects that could be used as weapons. Mew said she deleted dangerous objects. I can't imagine she'd miss a hammer. Was Mew lying? But why would she? Hammer's been out of the truth bullet section of the monopod. Hmm. Is this a cell phone? But there are cell phones in this world. Uh, there are cell phones in this world? What could they even be used for? No. <gasps> That's it. It's a phone, so... Mmm, <gasps> mm, a cell phone? I can't believe there's something like this here. Ah. Kaido, perfect timing. I'd like you to help me out with something. I want you to... I want to test something out. Come on, man. You help... Or help of you course. out? Of course. I have never say no to a favor for my sidekick. Thank you. Thank you, Kaido. You know... So, what do you need me to do? Is that all right? Ah, you don't have to do anything. Just stand right there. Hmm? hmm? I gotta stand here? Kaido Momoda. I knew it. He logged out. Just as I thought. This can be used to log... Or, this can be used to log out, just like in the phone in the salon. And this proves that it doesn't have to be the person themselves if you just say their name. That's what I needed to know. Thanks, Shuichi. Okay. There you go. So. Then it has to be. Then it's. Then it, then it has to be Kukichi. He's. Right? It ha that it basically has to be at this point. Or no. I think I'm jumping the gun a little bit. I think I'm jumping the gun a little bit. I'm going to hold back. But my brain tells me it has to be, like, it, my brain's, like, initial reaction is it has to be Kokichi. But it's, sadly, it still could be Kibo or Himiko. 
But I think that rules out Kaido. I'm like 99. I'm like certain that that just ruled out Kaido. You can log anyone out. You, anyone right. you like. I see. Thanks to Kaido's help, I am starting to pin this down. Salvador has been added to the truth bullet section of the monopod. I bet Kaido was pretty surprised when he logged out all of a sudden. Hmm. I should apologize for that later. Is this a piece of lattice? Why is this here? Yeah, that is a mysterious object. Uh, um... It's a wooden mat. It's used. Uh, it used to be common in bathrooms. Wait, and that's what Ki that Kokichi was the one investigating the bathroom. Yeah. I didn't see anything like it at the chapel. Where did it come from? Not from the chapel. Then why is it here? Nia, yeah, I just figured it out with my magic. Huh? huh you did. I see. Maybe someone used that instead of the signboard across the river. Yeah. <laughs> that, that someone is the culprit. No. Uh, I don't think so. The river's current's pretty fast. Even if you did use it to cross, uh, there'd be no reason it would be here. I, I know that. I was just testing you a little. Then why would you want to test me? <laughs> but what does it mean? You know, what's something like this doing here? Uh, I'm not positive why this lattice is left here, but... I'm sure it must have something to do with the case. Lattice near the chapel has been out of the truth bullet section of the handbook. Mew's avatar is frozen and collapsed in the snow. I logged out, avatar disappears, but if the real body dies, the avatar remains. Makes sense for a killing game simulator. If the body disappeared, then we wouldn't be able to investigate. Mm. The avatars never show injuries, so they stay the same. She still looks almost alive. But Her face is so pretty here, isn't it? It's hard to believe that she's dead. Uh, okay. Yeah. Muse Avatar has been added to the truth bullet section of the monopad. What? Actually. Oh, that reminds me. You can't leave footprints in the snow, can you? You're right. It looks that way. This is a killing game simulator. Yeah. It's probably because the footprints in the snow would make finding the culprits easy. So the snow probably isn't a clue for this case. Um. What's wrong, Kibo? Something bothering you? Well, I just remembered something. I think the whispering I heard, overheard might be relevant to this case. Uh, um, you heard whispering? Yes. Yeah. I did not intend to eavesdrop, but I did hear it. Shortly before we gathered at the chapel to, uh, and disperse uh, to begin searching. Oh, yeah. Before we split up, I wanted to ask you something, Mew. Hmm. It would seem Kokichi and Mew made plans to meet each other. Huh? Meet each other. Yes. Kokichi was confirming the specific place that we were, they were supposed to meet. I couldn't hear the whole conversation, but I was certain the rooftop was mentioned. Then, then those two met on the rooftop. Well, but it's strange, right? If they were planning to meet on the mansion rooftop, why did Mew volunteer to search the area around the chapel? You're right. That's true. If they were meeting on the roof, she would have wanted to search on the mansion. Hmm. Either way, she shouldn't have been able to get to the rooftop. She was searching the area around the chapel, which is where we found her avatar. With, and with no bridge to cross the river, she had not, or she could not have gone far from the chapel to the mansion. That's true. Something is strange about all this. Mew and Kokichi's meeting has been out of the truth bullet section of the handbook. Okay, I have finished my investigation of this area. Shuichi. Shuichi, it seems like we are finished investigating this place. Okay. Yeah. There, hey, there's something I wanted to ask. Can our avatars hide objects? Uh, uh, it seems like you can just put stuff in clothes here too, like in the real world. I see, just like the real world. Mm -hmm. So what are you gonna do next? Are we gonna go back to the real world already? Oh. Uh, before that, I have one more place that I have to investigate. The mansion's rooftop. Oh shit. I did, I done that a lot. The mansion's rooftop. Very well then. The place Mew and Kokichi were supposed to meet. The place Kaido got logged out. I'm positive it has something to do with this case. There are, there should be clues there. I don't really get it, but if you want to investigate, then let's do that, Shuichi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Um, Shuichi, everyone is counting on you, including myself. Shuichi. Please give this glass trial everything you've got and and see us through the, to the end. And I'll do my best as well, of course. I and I as well. I can, I can at least do that. I am a detective after all. Well, 
I think. Uh, well, I shouldn't be. I, I I was debating on whether or not I should end the episode, but. Shuichi. Shuichi, what was that all about? Sorry. Kaido, I'm so sorry. I wanted to see if you could log out using the cell phone. Jeez. Then tell me first. Uh, that was bad for my heart. I suddenly got logged out and I panicked and rushed back in here. Okay. Sorry. Stop it. Come on now. Uh, that's enough. Don't interfere with the investigation. No. I wasn't interfering. Wait. Why did you guys come back here? Did you already finish investigating? Uh, um... I wanted to investigate the rooftop next. Mm -hmm. Huh? What's important about the rooftop? Wasn't Miu at the chapel the whole time? We found her on the ground next to it. Oh, now, now. Let's believe in Shuichi's reasoning. It'll be Shuichi okay. can do it for sure. He's the ultimate detective, after all. Hmm. If you're going to be like that, then uh, do what you want. Investigate the rooftop or whatever. But Shuichi is my sidekick. In other words, his deductions are my deductions. And my deductions are his. Hey, now. What are you doing? Some What are you, some credit stealing bully? I mean... <laughs> Facts. Well, I got to investigate Mew's avatar since I got interrupted last Sorry. time. Well, then... Let us go to the rooftop. Yeah. Yeah, we should. Mew and Kokichi were supposed to meet on the, this very rooftop. And the person in charge of searching this area, Kaido, was forcibly logged That's out. That's true. This area must be have something to do with the case. It might not be directly connected to the case, but it should I should inspect the binoculars. I can see that this building is on the top of a hill. I can see past this point because the map it's the map loading point. Or I can't see past the point because it's the map loading point. But that is strange. Why would the map loading point be right in the middle of the world? Hmm. Something doesn't seem right. The storage room. A little different than how I remember. It feels as if something's missing. It feels as if something is missing, but I wasn't paying close attention to the first time, so I don't remember. Smoogie. Ah, look at the doorknob. It's locked. Ah, oh. oh, it is. This is a thumb turn lock. Easy to lock. What? It seems you can't lock it unless you're on the outside. And look, the keyhole's on this side of the door. Isn't it usually the other way around? No. Not necessarily. I've seen this before to prevent you from locking yourself out. I see. Hmm. I see. Is that so? The rooftop has a lock on the door. That is important information. What's wrong, Himiko? Okay. When murders happen in the mansion in a snow like this, there are always locked room mysteries created by piled up snow, isn't that right? But it's disappointing that you can leave or you can't leave footprints in the snow in this world. Is that something to be disappointed about? Um Kibo, did you find anything? Hmm. Hmm, this is difficult. There's nothing here that seems like a clue. But Mew should have arranged to uh, but Mew should have arranged Kokichi to or to meet Kokichi here. I thought we could at least confirm whether or not she really came to the rooftop. But unfortunately, there's no clues to indicate that. Did Mew ever come to the roof? That is an important question. Hey, hey Kibo, I wanted your opinion on something. Do you think you can get up and down uh, from this roof from the outside of the mansion? Well, No, that would be very difficult. Hmm. This rooftop is rather high. And even the edge of the roof is roughly the height of, three of, uh, of a three or four story building. You're right. Yeah, certainly too high to jump, I thought. which means it would be impossible to climb up from the outside. That means the only way to this rooftop is the stairs. I've inspected everything here. All that's left now is... <sighs> oh, there you are. I was looking for you. Huh? Maki, why are you here? I thought you were analyzing the program. I told you. Monotaro finished analyzing the program, so he told me to gather everyone. Hmm. He 
finished. Shuichi. We should probably head back, and then our investigation here is pretty much done, right? Okay. Yeah, you're right. I've investigated everything I needed to. Shuichi. Well then, we'll head back first. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna say goodbye to my avatar. Uh, do you like it that much? Then we should go too. Hey. What's wrong? You. You're definitely more reliable in a class trial than out. The others think so too. Huh? What? Well. I'm not trying to sound like Kaido, but I don't think you should carry all the burden alone. You're Suiji Sayahara, and before you're a detective. Or, you're Shuichi Sayahara before you're a detective. Don't you ever forget that. <sighs> I should... I should be talking. I threw away my identity as Maki Harukawa as an assassin. Or to be an assassin. Thank you. Thank you, Maki. Literally? Shuichi... Okay. Dog. You could have at least done a little bit better than that. <laughs> I, th I threw away my identity, and I feel terrible about it. Thank you, Maki. <laughs> He's been good throughout the entire playthrough, so I'm not going to give him too much crap. But it was definitely one of those dismissive thank yous. Like, I feel bad. I don't, I don't know. Anyway. Is she, was she being considerate just now? Yes. Yes, she was. And you just dismissively said thank you. But that's okay. <laughs> You might want to apologize for that one later. <laughs> it happens, Shuichi. I get it with Maki, but like... Oof. <laughs> Big oof. But now I can officially say we can end the episode. And in the next episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony, we will go ahead and tackle the end of this trial figure out the cut scene and then get into oh not the end of the trial but get into the trial which is crazy to think that we're already getting into the trial but saving our progress love you all see you guys in the next one quite literally tomorrow so catch you later